Welcome to another Photoshop tutorial from helpvid.net Today we're going to be changing a background a background image We've done a tutorial on this before but we're going to approach this one a little different So first I'm going to come up to File and click on New to create a new a composition So I'm just going to keep the width of 500 height of 300 and the background colour of white. I'm going to click OK and this gives me a area to work in here. So next I want to import two images, the background image and the foreground image. So it really doesn't matter what one you import first, uh, I'm just going to import the, go to place, go to file, come down to place and I'm going to select the American President Barack Obama and it's just a very small image like a thumbnail size so I'm going to hold my uh, cursor over the edge till you see those little two arrows appearing I'll just zoom in so you can see and I'm just going to click down and drag to the side and what that's doing it just makes your image the size that you want so I'm quite happy with that. Once you've got the desired size and you've got your image where you're happy, you just right click and select place. So next I'm going to select my second image. So I'm going to come up to file. I'm going to come to place. And I'm going to place the US flag. This is a little larger so you only need to increase it just a little bit here. And I'm going to place. Now if we come up to the top right hand side here in your layers palette you can see when I've imported the picture of Barack Obama I had it named as Barack Obama so that layer is named Barack Obama. The same with the US flag. Uh, I already had that named the US flag so automatically your layer becomes the name of what your image is called unless you change it obviously. So now we can't see the picture of President Obama so we need to come up to the layers palette and we want to click on the US flag, hold down and drag it down so it, this line appears underneath the Barack Obama. Let go and you can see it brings uh, Barack Obama to the forefront and now the American flag is the background. So the first thing I'm going to do here to make it a little easier for you to see I'll uh, minimise the toolbar and just drag it into view. So first I'm going to come to the small magnifying glass. I'm just going to click on the image once, that will help me increase it. And next I'm going to click on this small symbol that looks pretty much like a rubber or an eraser. So I'm going to make sure that the layer selected is Barack Obama up here in the layers palette. I'm going to come up to the brush and make sure my brush is in the 40s and just click on the image, press OK and then I'm just going to come down and I'm going to erase the background that was on the original image so come over to this side and as we get closer to the actual person, the actual body we want to come up and take down the size of the brush this will let us get in closer to the image This is maybe the most time consuming part. Obviously if you're working on an image at home you will have all the time in the world to do this. So you get a much better result. Again if you accidentally erase a bit of hair or body you can just go up to edit and undo and it'll just take you back to where your last click down moment was <coughs> so I'm going to take this brush right down now to 3 pixels I'm going to get right in as close as I can obviously this won't be perfect due to time restrictions just get it as best as we can You 
but right down to one pixel and you can also it really does help if you zoom in while you're doing this process it makes it a lot easier so that'll do that side it is a little rough but we'll keep it like that for the time being so I'm just going round the hairline now come over to the left hand side the face and across this left hand side So once I've done that, I'm going to come to the magnifying glass, I'm going to press the minimise and take it down one. So I'm going to select the, make sure the Barack Obama image is selected again. And I'm going to come up here to where it says, uh, in the layers palette to where it says opacity. And I'm going to bring the opacity down and this will kind of melt the image into the flag, make it kind of opaque semi-opaque this doesn't look really that good because of this ear here really makes it look not good so I'm going to come up to file um, edit sorry and I'm going to come to free transform what I'm going to do is just going to pull the image in a little and just place it over to this side So that's pretty much it, uh, that's how you change the background and you can change the opacity to make the image uh, semi-opaque. Uh, obviously here there's a little, uh, you could have done this a lot better, zooming in and decreasing the size of the brush to get right in close and obviously because of Barack Obama's right ear here, it uh, doesn't look that good at this particular bit of the image. But I hope I've helped and I hope you can change the background of an image you have in the house. So thanks for watching and until the next tutorial, stay safe.